get up, stand up for the reigning king of British comedy. Put your hands together for Michael McIntyre. <laughs> Do you think I look well? You look well. I've been sitting in the sun. I do. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Is it San Tropez or is it genuine? No, it's North London. It's been sunny. Have you not seen the weather? <laughs> oh, I've been in my bunker. Sorry, oh. I missed it. <laughs> what can I do to get you for a drink? What can I do to get you for a drink? <laughs> do you drink alcohol in the whole way through the show? Yes, is that I what do. All oh, right. You make it sound like a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> In the old days, in chat shows, people used to get drunk and it would be big news. Yeah. Now... I watch that Parkinson's. People are having cigarettes true, and cigars. True. And on the news. What about on bloody planes? On planes? I, I mean, know. it's unbelievably dangerous. What are you pouring me? Um, Lambrini cider. OK. Just so you know, I've never had that. And no, I've look, never... Look, looks nice, doesn't it? Nice okay. healthy colour. It's a bit the same colour yeah. as your face. It is, it is. We could tone it down. <laughs> now, we met up at the Bachelors on Sunday. Mm. Don't go, woo, I won, jack shit. <laughs> woo -hoo, I'm a loser, woo -hoo. <laughs> We both lost, in fairness. Yeah, we both lost. Yeah. Pissed me right off. <laughs> it is disappointing when you don't win, and also because the room, as the night goes on, it's hot, everyone's tired, oh. and there are more and more losers. Angry, hungry, <laughs> hot losers. <laughs> And the winners, yeah. they piss off. As yeah. soon as they've won, they go off and do interviews. Oh, I'm so fabulous. Yeah. I'd like to thank everyone. They just leave us sitting there, hot, hungry, <laughs> losing, looking at each other. You're a loser, I'm a loser. When are we going to eat? When do we have loser food? Because yeah. they, they get taken off to a different restaurant entirely. <laughs> and I don't oh, know about we you. have a miniature BAFTA chocolate. Did you have uh, that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Melts. So that's I'm melting. I'm so bored. I well, ate all I... three of them. Yeah, I was I like, didn't even... If I'd won, I'd have chocolate around my mouth. I was like, oh. <laughs> Me because mine melted onto my ass. Oh. I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> I, I was walking along with a BAFTA ass. <laughs> I came home, my children were like, You won! No, that's a chocolate BAFTA. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it was the closest I got was chocolate. But it is fun to go out of a night, you know. I've got to talk about the seat fillers at the BAFTA, so how weird was that? Oh, Your yeah. other half would go to the toilet, and then all of a sudden you'd have someone sitting next to you. I had no idea about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Yeah. Three, three years ago, I, thought, I went. I don't know how many years ago, but I went... It was the first time I'd ever been to anything like this. And I was there as, like, a new comedian. I gave out an award. And, uh, it didn't go very well. I... <laughs> well, it's, a, it's quite a tough room. Everyone's hot and sweaty and losing. Um, <laughs> so I came out. And the first couple of jokes didn't really work, and I looked to my wife in the audience for support. And she was sitting next to this young hunk. <laughs> I was literally like, who is that guy? <laughs> I tell two bad jokes and she's traded me in. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't yeah. know that he was paid to fill the seat, so it always looks full. Yeah. And I, I sort of attacked him. I came over and I went, who the fuck are you? Why are you here? <laughs> he was like, I was just sitting in your seat. Yeah, get out of my seat. Yeah. <laughs> didn't really work out. Because what worries me is when your, <laughs> if your other half goes to the toilet and you've got this uh, seat filler here, if you do win or get your name called out, you have to show them some kind of affection. That's or they'll think, <laughs> they'll think, oh, my God, he's in a loveless relationship, <laughs> you know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's not getting on with this other half, is he? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with the heat as well. Mm. I mean, I was really over overheating at one point. And, you it know, like, fat hot. people don't suit taxis, you know what I mean? And I thought... Yeah. I thought they were going to stick me at the end of that people we've lost section, you know, when it goes <laughs> like this. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. And Will I Am had made me um, a uh, bow tie. Oh, really? Leather. <laughs> OK. Blue leather. Yeah, you should definitely take fashion tips from Will I Am. I, yeah. <laughs> this is a man who doesn't know how to finish gloves. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it's nice getting dressed. I like watching my wife get dressed up. That's a very exciting thing. Oh, there she is. That's my wife. She married oh, me. That she's one. Lovely. Look at her. Can you see her shoes? Look how amazingly high those shoes are. She stood up when we, before we went out in her shoes. She went, do you, what do you think of these? And she's literally like nine foot in these things. I'm like, I cannot believe you married me. Come here. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's not all good. 
But the tights, I mean, that's something else. I mean, you, you, you don't know anything of tights. No, um, no. I, I've, I've worn tights dressed as a woman, but I've right. never, I don't have a well, wife. Well, I find it, it's, quite, it's a very erotic... Put, put, watching a woman put tights on, I say a woman, watch my wife, it's quite an erotic process, I feel. Half of it is. Half of it. The first half. Yeah. If you see any advert for tights or in a movie, if people's putting tights on, they'll only ever show you that, the first bit. <laughs> and then the other bit. Yeah. And then they'll cut away for your own safety. <laughs> Because if you remain watching, <laughs> all this shit starts going. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then they sort of tug it up here, yeah. and they just... They hang, like, at the end of a bungee. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually look in the mirror and go, they're not right, I've got some. What women go through. I've never experienced that, I've never seen. <laughs> I've got to ask you, what are you doing for the Jubilee? Are you having a street party? You watch it on the telly? A stri no. I don't really know my neighbours. I don't... I, I'm slightly worried about this. <laughs> well, if, there, if there's a party I haven't been invited... <laughs> I suppose it would be a nice opportunity to meet people on the street. Cos... And I'm fascinated by their homes. I think it's a normal thing. I mean, I'd love to have the opportunity to, like, look into their homes. We should have, like, a half hour when we could just run riot and go, oh, my God, <laughs> look at this. What have they done with their kitchen? Yeah. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> Cos I do. I have a trampoline in the garden. Yeah. And, well, the kids like bouncing on it, but I love it because I can see into the neighbours' gardens. <laughs> You're literally no. bouncing, going, oh, look, they've got a, oh, they've got a conservatory. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> but the other day I was bouncing and the neighbour was as well. I went, ah! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've had the same thought. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you actually a fan of the royals? Um, well, I, 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 I suppose I like the royals because they live their lives very differently to everybody else. It's quite fun. It's like a soap opera, isn't it? And they're so posh. Yeah. Just so tremendously posh. Oh, I think gosh, they work, yeah. they find out, they probably have people who work for them who find out who the poshest person is and make sure they're always slightly above the act because they see things that nobody else. I once heard, I don't really know why he said it, but Prince Charles say spaghetti bolognese in a way that was so posh. I mean, it was, <laughs> he said spaghetti. <laughs> bolognese. <laughs> I mean, even, even a waiter at an Italian restaurant would go, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, I'm very into posh people right now because I've been watching by accident that Made in Chelsea a little bit. Oh, yeah. And I have to say, if you don't watch it, it's fun just to watch them, their lips. Very posh people, because they're quite good-looking in this show, but their lips will move completely independently <laughs> to any words that are actually coming out <laughs> of them. Yeah, yeah. They do you know, nothing that their lips actually do. Yeah. Correspond to any kind of meaning <laughs> coming out. Yeah. Lip readers in Chelsea are like, I have no idea. I don't, really don't know. <laughs> and not often their lips move when the sentence is ended. They'll be going, yes. you know, they'll keep to the, the sentence will can be completely over, but their lips will continue. That milk. <laughs> One of the girls is like that, isn't All she? All the girls she's... are like that. And then there's one that talks like that, just like she's so posh. You're she doesn't right. Even You're, right. You're absolutely right. There's extremes. Such a... Every, all of us will use our lips uh. to say words. They're either unbelievably posh that their lips are completely running riot, <laughs> or they're no lips at all. Absolutely uh, no lips at all. They get someone else to speak for them. And this is how they can breed, yeah. because if they were all doing that, they'd never get, get it on. <laughs> <laughs> so they have to have one, go on, then kiss me, let's get it on. But that's what they say, things like hook up yeah. and stuff. It's because it's so posh, let's yeah, hook up. And also, they, they, they slag off someone else from the cast, and then two yeah. seconds in, that person arrives, doesn't it? Yeah. I can't stand that proud lot. Yeah. Oh, proud lot. <laughs> That's very yeah. true. That's very true. Hey, we've got to talk about this tour of yours. Kicks off in August. I'm doing a, a comedy tour. And you do big tours, but this is the biggest one yet. It's a big tour. That's me standing there with my hands in my pockets. And I'm doing a lot of dates um, around the... I'm doing lots of dates. I'm doing ten nights at the O2, six nights at Manchester MEN Arena. Uh, amazing. These are my favourite gigs, and it takes a long time to get to that point. I've been doing a lot of work. Yeah. Flat out. In you're doing small that new theaters. material, that eggy new material. I've been out every thing night sort of um, in up. tiny, tiny theatres, mm. and you depend on the audience, obviously, to. Yeah. You depend on them to give you feedback. There's not a lot of them. Um, sometimes I don't fully trust them. I did a gig in um, the Soho Theatre. You know oh, that yeah, one? There's about yeah. 100 seats, and there isn't really a stage. There's a floor, and the, the seats go up like that. There was a play on at the time, but it was their night off, obviously, when I went. <laughs> I'm not that arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just walk on, shut up. Yeah. And just... <laughs> uh, so I did, the, I did this, which was like a couple of weeks ago, and the set was still on. They'd left their set, and it was like a bar scene. 
And they, it was made of cardboard. <laughs> it was quite an amateur production. And it, there were stools and bottles. And on one side, there was an arch that said toilets. And on another side, it said cloakroom. It was a bar scene. I came out, referenced it, because it was weird. And then I just carried on telling my jokes. And then after about 40 minutes, a man who I can only describe as the stupidest man I have ever met in my entire life <laughs> stood up, walked onto the stage, apologised, and went straight into the fake loo. <laughs> Flabbergast. We're like, what, what is he doing? And then he got stuck in the curtain because there's nothing wrong. And then he emerged from the other side saying, sorry, where are the loos? We're not on the stage, you twat. So if I'm going to depend on people like that, who knows? Who knows how the jokes yeah, are going? You're on to a wedding. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, we've actually got a clip of you here in action. This is you at Wembley Arena on your last tour. <laughs> uh, the, the tour kicks off in August. Yes, August. Yeah. Are you going to take the kids away on holiday before you go? I'm trying to take them with me as much on tour, to be honest. I miss them a lot and they miss oh, me. and no, It's, sad, it it's a bit tour, heartbreaking. Yeah. My little three-year-old, Ozzy, he holds onto my leg. I mean, he couldn't make it any worse. He holds onto my, oh my leg God. as I leave the house. And, and I have to... He's going along the floor like a sort of mop. <laughs> and I have to, you know, shut the door on him. It's awful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would like to say I've just found a great way of entertaining them, which is advice for any parents here. You're probably aware of the Where's Wally books. Have you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this yeah. is great. They're basically, if you don't know about Wally, he's a little person in a stripy top, and you have to find him in a crowded scene of other people in stripy tops, but there's only one Wally. And they love this. They'll look for Wally for ages, and it's great for us, my wife and I, because we just give them the book, you go and look for Wally, while we go and look for a life we, we left behind before we had you. <laughs> <laughs> and then they find Wally, and they go, found him! And we run in, and we just turn the page, find another one. <laughs> But now, <laughs> I found an even better way, and please, oh, I feel a bit bad about it. I've coloured Wally in, OK? <laughs> There's no Wally. Nine days. They've been looking for nine days. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> My wife and I went to Venice for the weekend. It's really working out. <laughs> Michael, it's always so lovely having you on. Can I just say, I, this is my favourite TV show. I don't watch a lot of TV shows, but I love it. It's so much fun. It's very sweet. Good luck with the talk. Thanks, Alan. Give it up for Michael McIntyre!